Hi there, this is an introductory video for Adobe Illustrator. It's going to show you how to design a ligature using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, first off, what is a ligature? A ligature is essentially a design that shows that two letters are somehow joined together uh, to create one new glyph or one new design, which is called a ligature. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to create new ligatures. To start off with, go File New. And once this document opens up, you're going to go find the print option. Once you find the print option, go ahead and click on letter. And I'm just going to go ahead and name this right away. Uh, ligatures. And then my name. Oh boy, having some typing issues. It's been a long day. There we go. Go ahead and click create. And that's going to open up a blank artboard just like this. I'm going to show you how to create these two ligatures. I've practiced a little bit. Um, I'm using the initials of my name, J and H. So to start off with, I'm going to use the Type tool. And when I click on the Type tool, I'm just going to hover and do a single click. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to something a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to type in the letter J. All right, then I'm going to deselect it. And move it, go back to the type tool, click the H. All right, and then I'm going to move these together. <coughs> Excuse me, the idea here is to move the H right over here. A few things I need to do first. The first step is selecting by clicking and dragging over both letters. And see how the underline is showing underneath each letter? this is showing me that it's still being coded as a font. I want to create outlines that go around my letters. And to do that, to change a type to an outline, you, you have to have them selected. And you can select both at the same time, speed things up, and then go to type, scroll down to create outlines. When I say create outlines, it now created the outlines around it. I can no longer change the font style once I've done that. So you want to make sure you are happy with your fonts before you do that. Okay, now I'm going to move this in here and I want to get rid of this bottom part. So what I can do is I can erase this whole left side of the H. To do that, I have it selected and then I'm going to go find my eraser tool in my toolbar and I'm simply going to erase that side of H. All right, then I can select it, and once I have it selected, I can move it over and place it where I want it to line up. All right, now the thing is, it looks like it's connected, it looks like a ligature, which is great, but I still need to do a few more steps to make it act like a ligature. So remember, when I click on this, I want it to be connected and have one nice clean outline that goes all the way around it. So I'm going to click and drag to select both of those letters. And I'm looking for this tool called the Pathfinder tool. To find the Pathfinder tool, you go to Window, scroll down your, all of your options, and make sure you check mark Pathfinder. So I just deselected it, I'll select it again, and you should see it pop up somewhere off to the right or maybe at the bottom of your screen. I'm just going to move it over here so, so you can see. Uh, it has a few different options. As I look, I see shape modes, and then I see pathfinder modes. What I'm looking for is the one shape mode called Unite. When I hover over it, it gives me that option. When I click on this, it now united the J with the H. When I click off of it to deselect and reselect, now it is all connected magically. Let's practice it one more time. Um, on this sheet, I'm eventually going to design six different ligatures, but for the moment, I'm just going to do two. So now I'm going to single click. I'm going to try doing ligature with a lowercase j and a lowercase h. All right. I'm going to move them close together. I'm going to select both of them. Go to type, create outlines and now they have outlines around them. Position the H where I want it. I'm going to do something like that. That looks good to me. 
And now I'm just going to keep it selected and I'm actually going to erase it while it's on top of the J. As long as the J is not selected, I should be okay. So I'm going to click the Erase It tool, have the H selected, and now I can clean up and erase parts of the H that I, I no longer need. There we go. Click and drag, select both of those letters, go to Unite in the Pathfinder option, click Unite, and there we go. Click off of it, click on it, you can move it, can scale it, and it is one ligature from two different letters. You can play around, you can do ligatures with all three initials or four initials. Um, you can take your whole name and combine them and join them, and that would technically be considered a, a, lig a ligature. Uh, because they are joined. That's the, the definition for doing this design. Now we're eventually going to be learning about logo design and many people use ligatures within their logo design. So that's kind of what this tutorial is all about. Uh, to save your work, you can go to File, Save As, and this is where you need to remember your name, what the file is named, where it is going to live, make sure it says in a shared cloud storage is the best, like your Creative Cloud folder. Um, and then format, you can just keep it as Adobe Illustrator at this stage. And click Save. I'm going to click Cancel because I've already done this. But thanks for watching.